Hello tubers, Mezcal here. Uh, just a bit of an update, I'm not going to do a live feed today. Um, so, I've been wanting to get down into the shed and have a play with this little cooker. Um, I have a whole heap of PLA from the 3D printer. I've preheated this thing to about 220. I haven't measured it, I'm just going by the dial. Picked this thing up off the side of the road and shoved a a, uh, a plug on it. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, what I've got here is um, this sand has been mixed with sodium silicate. Straight up sand and sodium silicate and it's starting to go rock hard on the top. There's also a sample in the oven you can see there that is um, has a little bit of clay in it as well. And that seems to have formed up quite hard as well. So I've just thrown that in there to give it a good cook off. Um, and try and remove all the moisture. Uh, so yeah, other than playing with plastics, I'm cooking off some um, refractory experiments, I guess you could say. So this water glass sample with the clay in it has uh, seemed to stick to the metal. Just gonna Try and remove it. What kind of metal is this? It just looks like a bit of a tin plate thing. It's stuck on there quite well. Oh, that's hot. Quite a hard material, looks like a successful type of refractory. I guess uh, flame test's another thing we can do. So that one there's come up nice and solid as well. Um, I noticed I lifted this up, this guy, ouch, ouch, ouch. I lifted this up while it was. Uh, still like warming up and it went moist and um, started to peel away at the bottom there and that's wh where it stuck so um, I guess it's as the moisture comes out the bonds between the silicon get formed the silicon being the water glass and then the sand um, and it's ca uh, caustic as well which um, creates the environment which uh, helps these cementing sort of processes to come together. Now I've been wandering around the uh, shed trying to find um, sodium, not sodium, uh, come on brain, uh, tyre shine, silicon tyre shine because I wanted to spray that tray before I went and put PLA in it because um, I'd like to be able to pull it back out of the tray after I've uh, melted it. But uh, For the life of me I cannot find the silicon tyre shine. Okay, let's give it a flame test. All that yellow is the sodium. That looks really good. That was glowing. Oh shit, that's hot. Don't melt you. It's held together, it's quite strong. Tensile strength even after hitting it with a blowtorch has maintained its structural integrity. It really is a nice material. You can see it's gone about four millimeters deep with uh, heating it up and getting it glowing red hot. Um, so I'm quite impressed with that as a refractory material. I wonder how it would go as a crucible. And so I can't find that uh Mold release material. 
silicon tire shine, so I'm just gonna throw it in there. Those famous last words, what could go wrong? Oh yeah, look at that. See what happens. And now that the PLA is baking in the oven, this block of Hebel here. I plan to chop in half, like right in the middle there. Chop it in half. Cut out some half scoops so that I can uh, put the two pieces together and create a chamber about that round. I don't know if I'll leave it open at the back or have it. Um, Maybe cut a plug that I can put in there? I don't know. Just uh, thinking out loud. Okay, let's find the half point there and uh, work out what we're going to do with it. Wow, look at it now. I wonder what the dark bit in the middle is. Maybe that's some wood filament. Okay, let's proceed with cutting this thing in half. I don't want to ruin any saws. I can't find any old uh, bread knives. I'm just going to try and use something like that. But I'll just use this anyway. I found this laying around in the shed. I'll just keep scoring until I get there. Okay. So, stack like that, we can get quite a large chamber in there. I want to give myself a good wall thickness. Um, I suppose I could go sort of oval shape, give myself enough room. If I was really thinking about it, I might be able to even make a square floor in there. So that I can fire things and have a shelf space.
go. Look at that. Yeah, that's the paper, uh, the the uh, wood filament, the black stuff. It's already started to set because I've turned the uh, turned the heat off. I'll let that cool, and then I'll um, bust it out of there. Looks disgusting. Alright, part two on the uh, finishing off the uh, furnace. Hopefully we'll get done tomorrow. Um, probably won't get posted tomorrow, but at any rate this will be the video for the weekend. There's no live feed for 3D printing. Uh, next week look out for uh, 3D printing on uh, a new printer. Um, we'll just leave it as a surprise and I'll show you on the day. Thanks for watching.